Magandang araw sa ating lahat. Isang oras na naman ng makabuluhan at kawili-wiling panayam ang ihandog namin sa inyong lahat ngayong araw. Kasama ang isang premyadong production designer at direktor sa pelikula. Nakatala sa kasaysayan ng modernong sining ang ilan sa mga pelikulang kinabilangan niya gaya ng Itanong Mo sa Buwan, Moro Ami, Jose Rizal, at Cobrador. Mga pelikula kung saan ginawaran siya ng parangal sa larangan ng disenyong pamproduksyon. Kasalukuyan din siyang nagtuturo sa Departamento ng Studio Arts dito sa College of Fine Arts, UP Diliman. Ikinararangal nating makasama ngayong araw si Professor Leo Abaya. Magandang araw, Leo. Magandang araw, ma'am. Thank you for being here. Uh -oh. So, bigyan mo ko ng fast uh, run-through of your history. What was your first film? Naalala As mo? production designer. As production. Bakit? Nag-artista ka ba, anak? Actually, yes. Ah, <laughs> wonderful! Ah. Well, at least early ano, mata, enough, very, diba? A bit role, uh, a bit role. Oh, bit role. Bit oh yeah, yeah. No. Oh, yeah ba, maganda yun. As, eh. as art director, okay. uh, the first uh, production I was involved with was a film that was never finished. It was directed by Celso Ad Castillo. The title of the project was Diary of Vietnam Rose. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was yeah. Uh, the art director and then the production designer at that time was... Uh, Dante Mendoza. So what happened? Um, they ran out of money. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, so uh -huh. the production stopped. And then you worked again with uh, Celso Ad, right? Yeah, I worked uh -huh. again with Celso Ad. I was also art director in um, Dihim ng Kalapati. Pero natapos yun? Natapos po yun. Uh -huh. Oh, yun. And then... So how was the experience with... Uh, with Celso Ad Castillo? Yes, uh, Celso Ad. Um, baptism by fire. <laughs> um, but I learned a lot watching him. Uh, watching him work. Um, watching um, or, or doing a film when there was really no script. Uh, only notes uh, and endless meetings. So everything is in his mind. Yes. And um, it was both... Uh, confusing and fascinating at the same time <laughs> but uh -oh. parang ano ay uh, parang ano yun eh parang film production 101 for me uh oh but you've worked with a lot of uh, good directors oh yes uh, um carlitos was carlitos sigun reina uh, yes. was the director of um uh, mrs mo mrs ko the first film where i shared credit as production designer mm -hmm. and that was the debut film of of Carlitos in the mm. Philippines, anyway. And then I worked with, of course, Chito Ronio. Yes. Uh, what film is this? Um, um, Chito Ronio for uh, Itanong Mo Sa Buwan. Oh, oh, oh. And um, Bakit Kay Tagalang Sandali. Bakit? Kay Tagalang Sandali. Kay Tagalang Sandali. Ito yeah. yung Dina Bonavie. Yes, yes. It was based on uh, comics. Si Oo. Oh, oh. Ayan, oh. Oh, ayan. At oh, saka si Eddie Garcia. Eddie Garcia and Jelly de Belen. And Jelly de Belen. No, uh, yeah. no, that was the comeback film of Janice de Belen. Oh, I'm sorry. Janice de Belen. Yes, That's yes. True. That's true. And then I also worked with, of course, Marilu for uh, three films. Oh. And then, um, and Jeffrey Heturian. For Cobrador. For Cobrador, and then Bing Lao also. Oh. Yun, so. Well, tell me the, the significant things about these films. Uh, let's From, take them, you know, oh, uh, okay. isa isa. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, kasi iba ibang uh, situation, eh, di ba? Yes. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. So, like uh, working with uh, Carlitos on okay. his first film. Yeah, so, yeah. So, pareho kayo. Oh, no. That was the, the experience I had working with Carlitos was very different from, from my experience Ad. from Celso Ad Castillo. Uh -huh. This is the North Pole and the South Pole. Um, kasi, Ayos tayo yung kay Carlitos. Kasi yung kay Carlitos uh -huh. was very, or, well, the producer, the producer, well, the producer was the Armida Sigyon Reina. Uh, uh -huh. So, um, it was done, talagang ang standards niya is international standards, no? Um, we, long before Excel was there, long before all of these um, 
uh, programs for production was there. I mean, she was very, very um, much prepared and mm. very, very well organized. Mm. Um, there was color coding in her. Uh, no. Oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> and then um, just looking at her, this big folder, this trifold folder that she has when she opens it like that, it was kind of intimidating. But um, that's, I think for me, it was very good because uh, yeah. yung, you're only mm. always on your toes. And I always like, Order. So, on expectations oh, yes. sa'yo doon. Yes, uh, yes, very much. Diba? Yeah, uh -huh. very much. And then... Um, so, behave ka doon? I behave naman ako parati, ma'am. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> ano lang, this, this time, um, uh, there was no room for, um, I guess, for forgetting something because you're given enough time to prepare. The script is there. Uh, but we had what regular about meetings. innovations? I mean, you know, coming in with your... Ah, meron Suggestion naman. Oh, I, meron naman, ma'am. na lahat. Uh, well, in fairness, because the film, I, the, I started the film as art director of Charlie Arceo. Okay. And then, um, yung, the, 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 the production design concept was pretty much already there. But of course, mm. I was already part of, of it, no? As art director, and then, you know, uh, Charlie mm -hmm. and I got to talk about it. And then, halfway through the film, uh, hindi niya matapos yung film, so I took over. Everything. Uh, uh, yes, yes. I took production over. Production design. Yes, yes. Let's, so, let's go to that. Okay. Let me interrupt you at this mm, point. Mm. Kasi yung production design, di ba? Mm. Art director ka, mm, mm. etc. Mm. And there are many things under that. Yes. According, ang, sa totoo lang, pag tinanggal mo ang production design ng pelikula, mm. all you have are naked actors mm. taken <laughs> by the cinematographer, right? Uh, 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 oh, kasi location, uh, lahat ano, uh, uh, set design, uh, 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 mga props mo, lahat-lahat yes. kasama, yeah. lahat yun. Uh, oh, uh, so, pati suot. Yes, apo. Uh, apo. Uh, so, uh, uh, okay, so tell me the difference between being an art director, being a production designer, okay, and so Okay, yeah. So, well, as art director, you're basically there on the set to make sure that the concept the, the design concept is executed well. Mm -hmm. All the things that are necessary are there when they're needed, di ba? No. So, um, you're really the, uh, the, the arm. The last person. The arm. You're the yeah. arm of the, of, the, <laughs> no, of the production designer. When right. you're in production design, you don't only think about that. You think about concepts. You make um, decisions on locations, on um, decor, Mm -hmm. uh, in accordance to a concept. Uh, so, yon. kailangan meron kang box to na, oh, labas lahat yung scarf dyan. Uh, uh, yon, on. <laughs> oh, and uh, and uh, it's, it's, it's when, when you choose the, uh, the objects of material culture uh, to be used in the film, that is pre, it is chosen with an idea in mind. So well, that, concept. let's say, given the, the idea mm -hmm. na, okay, we need scarves here, it's not just any scarf. Based no. on your design, you can only get this many scarves, type. this mm -hmm. type of scarves, or these colors, because there is a design, there is a reason. Design philosophy. It. Yes, yeah. It's the art director right. who makes sure that they're, they're applied well, but the, the, the choice, no? the, mm -hmm. the framework of the, the images, mm -hmm. the choices, pala, uh, comes from the designer. Dapat, yeah. dapat nagkasunduan na kayo ng director dyan. Oo naman. The vision, oh, oh. for the Ang film, etc. Ang maganda nun kay Carlitos. Carlitos mm. knew what he wanted. Yes. Yan. So, oh. so, that was... Oh. And that Walang was, masyadong hulaan. Wala, wala. <laughs> Yung kay Celso, parang I need something. Intuitive. Oh, Intuitive. I need something and then... Hindi, hindi mo alam kung ano. <laughs> and then when he said, when it arrives and he said, ah, yeah, yeah, I, I think I need something like this. So, Iba, iba yung style. Oh. Yan. So, <laughs> as production designer, working with a Chito Ronyo, for oh, example, oh, oh. ano ang, ano mo doon? Well, uh, what I like about, doon, what, oh. I, what I remember working with Chito is he, um, he discusses with you uh, concepts, design concepts, but he will not impose. Um, discuss, discuss until something nice comes up. And then, um, they, they many said that, that difficult, they said, oh, si Chito, ano yan, strict to yan, ganyan, ganyan. It, it, no. Hindi ganon. Ah, when, okay. in, in, in my experience with him, um, it was a pleasure working with him. It was difficult because he demanded so much. But 
when you see it on you know on screen lahat ng pagod mo nawawala kasi kasi he really ano eh he doesn't you see the function of 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 his parang of his demands and his requirements and what it does to the material so it's very gratifying Ah, uh, yon. Uh, and then fun. Chito is actually fun to work with because it's very witty. And then um, I remember we even make fun of the script. Itself. I mean, during waiting time. <laughs> <laughs> yon. So, um, ganon. Pleasant yung ano ko. Tiring, but but the ano is is. I kind of swear to you, sa aking mga directors, because um, parang yeah. maganda yung ano ko memories ko. Si Mike Rilon Makiling, nakatrabaho mo rin, di ba? Oo, oh, oh, di ba? Bago si Marilu Diaz sa bayan. Hmm, di ba ano siya, um, parang action oh, film? Oo, oh. yun yung, uh, yeah. ano ko, yun yung genre. Yeah, pero... But what film did you work with him? Estudiante Blues. <laughs> the, the, this was the... Ibang ta- genre yun. <laughs> uh, uh, this was the... It's really weird because he was assigned by Viva to do a, a juvenile film. It's a coming of age okay. film. Mga artista yun, eh, mga oh, batang mga artista. Bata. Oo. Oh, mm-hmm. oh. Um, I think they used the. It was a hit. It was a song. Estudiante Blues was no. uh, it was a very popular song at that time. And then they uh, made a story about um, about students. Mm. Yan, mm. Uh, at that time, high school students. And then um, he was assigned. So I found it very weird. An action uh, director doing a film na parang ganon, youth oriented. Yeah. And it's not about ano pa nga eh, hindi pa nga siya yung edgy. It was very mainstream, Viva films. Uh, so, um... So, ano yung production design ng gano'n? Parang, well, plush number, ba yun? Uh, uh, number uh, one, uh, he, it turned out that he was very cool. I mean, Viva. he was not the uh. macho director type. And then he just let me be, okay, do what you want. Basta maganda. Yung ganon. So, um, <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, since it was a very commercial material, so I had to um, uh, get my sources of inspiration from popular culture at that time. Uh-huh. So, uh-huh. so uh-huh. Eh, ano yun eh, uh, late 8, tama ba yun? 90s? 80s. Parang ano, uh, late 80s siya. 80s, 90s. Basta mm, nasa ganun yun, 90s, gitna. Yeah. And then, the culture at that time was very visual. It was alam mo, the time na graphics was used. And so, ginamit ko lahat yun uh, to, to come up with a film that looked um, commercial. Because, oh, oh, commercial. Um, okay. I guess, um, na ano ako dun sa Viva Films because that was my second Viva project. The first, what was the first one? Yeah. We, we, ano, uh, Mrs. Mo, Mrs. Ko. Kasi na, meron din silang formula, eh, di ba? Parang yes, ma'am. I got the, a memo because uh, I did correct. not follow. Uh, uh, I did not follow the design formula. Correct. Because I followed Carlitos, the director. Oh, but I, ba yun? I, haven't, oh. I haven't seen the actual memo, but Tita Meads told me na, oh, nakatanggap ako ng memo, bakit ganun ang design? Bakit wala masyadong kulay? <laughs> uh, ba, ano, bakit wala masyadong bulaklak? Mga ah, gano'n na yan. No, no, no. But I don't know how true that was. But it was something that she told me. But sabi ko, no, I have oh. to obey Kasi my director. Kasi may visual peg na yes. ano yung commercial, yeah. ano yung uh, magugusto ng mga tao, uh, and then you have to uh, deliver that. Uh, oh. In Mrs. Mo, Mrs. Ko, the palette was very controlled. So mm. and uh, the objects were very controlled. So um, easy on the flowers, um, easy on this, easy on that, easy on the pastels. We we totally got away from from that, parang ano, from that um, brand branding of Viva at the time. Yeah. So this time when I did Estudiante Blues, sinunod ko naman. Because ah. uh, <laughs> anyway, it was a it was a commercial oh. uh, film. I also did that film because at that time sikat na sikat ang ano ang di ba ex um, ang mga singit ah, po, the, 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 the time at that time that were a lot of singit for no, uh, for no for films, films oh. I did not want to get involved in that Correct. so I just um, young uh, because the, the 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 good scripts actually had those ano not that I was being prudish I was not lang very comfortable because I I parang you would not know. I don't have any control. Eh. Sometimes they would make, I mean, you would make something serious 
and then the production would suddenly uh, mm. shoot mm. something and then before you know it marinig mo sa balita no na okay maganda yung pelikula pero meron silang siningit na x-rated at the end that they used to do that diba yes, oh yun yes. so i didn't want to get involved in productions that Parang that bulaga. A, oh, that, that may ganong practice. Then, uh, sex exploitation, oh, etc. Oh, 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 so, you didn't want to uh, get so involved I, I, in that. I, right? I just did... Uh, Which is good. Oh, yun, ganon. Mm -hmm. yun. Oh. And uh, let's go to Marilu, Marilu Diaz Sabaya uh, hmm. with your Murami and yeah, your Rizal. Uh, oh, oh. These were big films and, oh, yeah. you know, <laughs> people were always, you know, waiting for it uh, and uh, at that uh, time. Uh, oh. mm -hmm. I, I actually did not think that I would be involved in on Rizal because at that time I was very GMA busy. GMA films, yeah. Oh, I was mm. very busy doing uh, TV commercials, uh, doing okay. design for TV commercials. Um, mm. So, and then I got a call, uh, especially doing TV commercials with Manolo Abaya, who was also cinematographer and director at the same time. So we worked in many, 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 uh, uh. many, um, projects no. and then um, I did not know that I would even be involved I heard about Rizal being made and it was um, there were uh, test shoots already done uh, with Mike De Leon mm -hmm. right? and, oh. and GMA at that time and then they were doing it for a year not testing Agamulak etc etc so that that was really suddenly, out of the picture suddenly no, wala, it was you oh and then I one day I was where was I? Ah, I, I was um, with a supplier who did costumes for me. Ah. I received a call from Greg de Guzman, who was the production manager always of, of uh -uh. Marilu. Uh -uh. And then I said, would I, would I be doing, uh, would I be interested to do a film on Rizal? And then I said, huh, there's another film. There's one being made by GMA, baka not anymore. So, no, this is the one made by GMA. So, because, so what, have, what happened to the, to the project of Mike De Leon? So, oh, well, that's another story. Oh, the okay. director now is gone, the writer is Ricky Lee, etc., etc. Siyempre, finally, uh, one of my earliest mentors is si Ricky Lee. Eh. Finally, mm. uh, get to work with a project with Ricky Lee. Oh. So I said, so uh, wh where is the meeting? Would you want to come to a meeting? So that's when I uh, got involved in it. Um, mm. when I, I didn't really say yes at the beginning, but the fact that I went to the meeting, parang yun na yun. So you were pretty much involved. Ang, ang ginagawa mo noon, mga commercials, right? Yeah, TV So may isang uh, mga projects. Here you are getting into... Film again. Film uh, again, uh, which will take up a lot of your time. Diba? Yes. Uh, hindi na yan pa, pa, pa uh, hindi So na, the hindi commitment na. would be yes, doing this. Uh, so uh, uh, eh, so uh, were there problems? Ano no. mga challenges on? Okay lang. Uh, number one, uh, I asked for a leave of absence from UP, uh, okay. uh, from teaching. Uh, so uh, I had to take a leave from teaching because... Um, um, I, I knew the, the research itself mm. uh, would, would be parang not tough, but would take some time because oh. you know naman our records here. Di ba? <laughs> so, um, yun. And then it took, a, it took a lot of time to, to, to ano, ba, ano, put the research together, uh -oh. the visual research together. So you did research yes. and then you started to... Sa shoot din, meron ng... We, we had diba, ano every pang, frame, you were cleaning it up oh, kasi it would have to look oh, a oh. certain way. During the production, we would have... We had almost uh, how many months? Ang tagal nun eh. Every, every week, I think, I remember every Friday, uh -huh. we would go to the house of Marilu and um, meet or oh, what what have you found out? And then mm. it was really a, a meeting of the key people in the staff, each one uh, having a uh, research, doing research so that mm. I, things that I found out that not, were not really in the department, I shared with someone from, from for the other department, for so, the director's team. So it was really... Yeah, ano, a, a, a oh, teamwork, right? Oh, ma'am. Maganda Pero yun. Ano? Katagal yan. Oh, God, ma months, ma'am. Seven or eight months, I think. Oh, uh, na yun ang yun ang yun lang, nasa utak mo. Uh, oh, yung, yung Rizal. And then we had to reread 
uh, which I like, uh, Noli and Fili. Mm. Yon. So, bus outlet. Ganon. Pero di ba, even uh, kung anong susutin, ano yung mga butones? Oo, oh, ma'am. Oh, hindi ma pwede ng plastic yun. Ay, hindi, ma'am. Oh, ma somebody diba? nga, I remember, somebody said, na, bakit may plastic bottles? Sa mundo, never had plastic. We actually use knocker bottles. Yes, oh, yun, knocker ganon. bottles. Oh, di ba? Naging... Oh, Meron mga ganong mga usapan. Na. Oh, oh, ma oh, ma so, But there were you... certainly buttons at that time. Somebody oh. also said na, oh, bakit hindi, bakit hindi feather ang ano? Sabi ko, hindi na, may fountain pen at that time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And many people did not know that there was already electricity at that time, at least in Manila. Oh. Yan, oh, yan. Oh. So, little things na, in so, fact, telepono meron na eh. So, research uh, is very important oh, yes, for production design, yes, diba? Very, very important. Yung consistency mo. Yes, yes, With the history oh, and all that. Oh. So, uh, any significant thing about production design of, uh, for Jose Riza? Maybe, you know, we'd like to put that on record and try uh, to... Mm. Uh, important yung insights mo, uh, Jenny. Uh, ano, ma'am? Um... Well, ah, uh, we, we, we were able to, but this is not so much design as um, the value that you get in research because we were able, kasi di ba meron na mga uh, books on mm. on the trial itself, the, the, the what do you call this, the mm. transcript of the yes. trial of Rizal is there. It's actu actually De La Costa, yes. uh, father yes. from Ateneo. It has a book entirely about it, both in, in Spanish and in the translation. Mm. We have that. But in the film, um, it was handwritten, right? So mm. we were able actually to, to get a, a, a photocopy oh. of the transcript handwritten. Ah, May mga mga nakita maganda rin yung, yung, ano eh, yung diskurso dyan. Eh. Oh. Kasi yung kuha na sa kamay ni Jose Rizal, may rosario ba? Oo, oh, oh. yung mga ganong issues. Oo, oh, oh. ah, that's the rectorial. Ah. <laughs> eh, hey, kailangan mo yun, ah, production design na. Hey, ma'am, we, we just made that the, the, oh. the, the design of the rosary was right. That whether Marilo uh, was going to use it or not. Or not. That's her responsibility. Whether he's a uh, mason or is a... Yeah. Yeah, you know, all this. We had that, no, ma'am. I remember uh, even... Because there were accounts that said that Jose Rizal was wearing a white tie during his execution. There was also there were also accounts that said that he was wearing a black tie. So I had to prepare two ties. <laughs> and um, yeah. But the idea of ha shooting it two ways... Mm -hmm was out of the question because it would be very expensive. Kasi mahaba yung eksena eh, yung mm -hmm. sequence eh. So, we used a white mm -hmm. uh, tie because if, for example, during post-production, something comes up and really said that it's going to be black tie, it's easier to change it on color and post. Oh, so, oh. it has to be white. Kasi it's difficult to make black white, right? Right. In post. So, oh. better so to make white. Around. Yes. Oh. Oh. So, um, decision. Siguro if, Bearing all the, the, the historical stuff, mm. you know, uh, notwithstanding that, parang siguro ang, ang significant para sa akin nun is a lot of the uh, production design decisions were um, revolved around the capacity for post-production to actually change certain things. Because um, part of, I think, part of the contribution mm -hmm. of the film was we were able to put up again edifices and built heritage that's no longer existing now. Correct. So the second floor of the Fort Santiago does not exist anymore. These are the things that we only see in black and white pictures. But because of that film, um, at least from my own personal point of view, I was able to uh, parang re, uh, uh, again, uh, rebuild it at least uh -oh. on cinema, but okay. how it actually looked like uh, at that time. So there was a lot of post-production done there that was actually a result of research. Because mm -hmm. the, the, the post-production guys would only um, respond to what I give them as a production designer. I, I think um, dun, kung meron oh. ng contribution talaga, I think sa area na yun. malakas doon. Mm -hmm. Except that People don't know it that I mean, it's not, it's usually the performances and everything. But insofar as the design is concerned, union. Because um, one of the realized, and I was a bit aghast actually, when 
we made a made, made a production and then we listed the things and the places that mm -hmm. they were supposed uh, to shoot mm -hmm. and um, hold our um, what they call this our scenes. About I think ngayon about 75, six, 70 to 75 percent we cannot do it on location because it's not existing anymore. Oh. So and then it make actually made me realize yung ano natin yung patrimony natin yung how we as a people don't value heritage as mm. much as mm. we should. Mm. Parang pinalabayaan na lang natin sila na na mawala. <laughs> Well, yeah. in this film, you were able now at to least. reconstruct oh, at the least, bang. At oh. least bang. Oh, oh. So I think that's a, a big job. So magandang oh, contribution ma yun. Yeah, oh. Ang laki ng trabaho talaga ng production design mm. sa historical films. Mm. Well, serious historical films, mm. di ba? Mm. So ako sa akin, uh, maganda yun. Pero let's, let's, let's shift, no? Yung Muro Ami is also such a big uh, production design mm, work, mm, you know, mm. uh, where a lot of the shoots were in this big, um, mm, mm, uh, uh, you know, mm. uh, seafaring machine. I mm, mean, mm, uh, you know. Mm, mm, mm. So, paano yun? Uh, um, did you construct that na putol-putol, uh, merong nakabukas, uh, merong mga... Hindi, Talagang uh, buo yun. Uh, the, una, una yung project na Murami was mm. daunting because kahit maliit lang yung kwento, mm -hmm. malaki yung ano because it involved the sea. You're right. It involved nature. It involved children. You mm -hmm. know how it is. Mm -hmm. Diba? So, uh, dun pa lang, alam mong daunting na yung project. And then we would be using a boat out in the sea. Uh, in the sea. Mm. No? And uh, we know that Shooting in water is never, never good. Mm -hmm. I already knew that even in theory, oh, well, not in theory, in practice, because Diary of Vietnam Rose was too big. 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 So I knew how it is to shoot in water. Oh. Yon. And then um, also uh, reading, and I remember, Sinabi ni ano eh, ni Steven Spielberg, although he. Um, he binawi niya yon. He, after making Jaws, he said he swore he's not going to make a water movie at all. <laughs> Never. But of course, in Amistad, after he did Jaws. it again. Oh, diba? Ayan. Ayan. But after niya. Jaws, ayon na niya. Ah, okay. So, may, yun ang ano, ma'am, yun ang daunting nun. And then, um, yung, the, the film kasi is not, um, medyo ano eh, medyo yung the, the term, Muroami, would tell you na, ah, parang ano siya, Parang social, social realism siya, but it's actually not. It's mm. a very allegorical film. It, it's very stylized. No. No, no. Uh, which the title doesn't, ano talaga, no? But anyway, because the original title of the film was not even Murami. It was Aurora. Oh. Yeah, the, the, that's the name of the wife of uh, Fredo, the main the, character. The main the character. Oh, 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 yeah, that was the original title, Aurora. So anyhow, um, hindi pa ako nagawa na parang allegorical ang ano ang 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 film. So immediately what comes up with out oh, symbols and then yung mga ganon ba yung mga yung mga iconic uh, images. So parang I found myself drawing scenes yung parang ganon oh. ba yung Kasi then, parang oh, Aurora, pero mm, let me ano mm, ah, kasi yung konsepto niya, parang child labor eh. Oo, oh, oo, oh, oo. Oh. oh, tapos Aurora. Because that is, that was the, uh, the, oh, the term Muraami um, uh, connotes that. Ayun. Oo, oh, oh, oh. kaya oh. yun ang ginamit oh, na, no? And it was a serious film that oh, had to say yun. something so about. So people, I think, part of the reception of the film was the expectation that the, that the material was going to be uh, will tackle about child exploit exploitation. Oh, oh, oh. Um, only to find out na hindi naman talaga doon, mm, pero mm. nakafocus yun about power, about, uh, yeah, ganon, yes, yun. Yes. So, um, mas philosophical, I guess, ang treatment. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, so, I guess that was one of the reasons why there was mixed reception because of the expectation. Uh, um, but having said that, 
anum naman aware naman ako na ganun ang 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 pelikula so hindi ko i did not i did not strive for social realism in the design mm -hmm. i've always ad adhered to know what is it it's allegorical it's ganun so i had to i had to stylize it a bit i think parang heightened reality so um there was stylize it ano yon yung saguan hindi saguan talaga hindi ma'am ano parang <laughs> i ano mo exaggerate mo di ba oh, parang stylize oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. stylize to siya oh, oh. so um medyo exaggerated so um yung boat for example um one of the challenges of the boat was both technical and um i guess artistic because on one hand uh, we were going to shoot on the boat so the boat oh, was oh. also a location and also a character, right? So okay. ang nangyari dun, ma'am, is we had to look for a boat that was, number one, it has to be um, safe. It has to be um, ano, seaworthy, as they oh, say seaworthy. it. Oh, seaworthy. It was oh. to be seaworthy. You cannot have a rickety boat because kung may nangyari nun, marami malulunod. Oh, ibig mo sabihin, niridu yung... yung no. We had wood. to look. We had to wow. look for... Oh. A young boat. It's called a young boat. It's not a new boat. Oh, oh, a uh, you have to look for a young boat. A young boat would be a boat between Ten. one year and 25 years. That's okay. considered a young boat. And then we had to go around. Uh, and then we found this boat in Orani Bataa. Orani Samar. Or, or, I forgot the, the town. It's in North Samar. It is near the, the, the strait that separates the tip of Samar. It's a strait that is between the tip of Samar and the tip of Bicol, because that's uh, hmm. that, that, that's hmm. an important uh, uh, parang so highway. So you brought the and then, ship. Uh, yeah, we brought the ship to Bohol. Bohol, okay. And then it was new. It was all white. Yon. And then, then, then we and then number uh, one, it had uh, it had to be wood. Uh, yeah, see, yeah, yeah, number uh, one. Yang wood. Oh, we had to be wood. Because nga stylized nga siya. Because the Muro Ami boats were not made of wood; they were made of steel. <laughs> I saw the I saw the film of Lino Broca, di ba? Yung ginawa oh. ni ni Rod Rodi Lacap. Mm. The boat was steel. Yon. But we didn't want that because hindi nga siya social realism. So oh. I, I wanted something more. Alam mo yung ganon. So oh. kahoy number oh. one. Number two, we had to choose a boat that could actually. Um, Kinito kasi yon. If you want if you're shooting, and then you want to return, you reverse, a boat that has only one uh, LEC oh. can only go like this. Uh, diba? Yon. Oh, oh, oh. And it cannot, it cannot turn on its own axis. But mm. if you have two uh, propellers, it can actually do this. Okay. We had to look for a boat now that can do this. Because si Marilu was always particular about the efficiency in the shooting. Kailangan mabilis. And number two, flexible siya sa kanyang angles. Na anytime na, oy, we're seeing an island, you have to go like this. Or we're oh. seeing an island, we go like this. So, oh. madali. Madali yung maneuvering. Okay. Mm. We, we were lucky. Uh, we found a boat. And then we brought it to Bohol. And then it was new. We had to strip all of the paint. Oh. So, to make it look old. Correct. Oh, Location yeah. siya. Oh. Tapos, visually, yeah. uh, kailangan dumating yung mga... Uh -huh. Symbols, yes. etc. and uh, so on. Uh, uh, Amazing, yeah. So, um, it That's took a, a month. Oh. It took a month. And then, um, there were many things that had to be thought of. I, the boat actually became for me like a piece of um, a theatrical piece. Mas theater mm. sa akin ang tingin dun eh. Sa, oh, kasi sa, ano, confined oh, doon sa yun, ano, oh, yun yung yeah. space mo eh. Ano? Oh, oh. So, uh, theatrical yung approach. Tapos, I invented the mast when pwede namang walang mast. Pero gumawa na ako ng mast only because it it doubled as a crane mm -hmm. for Roddy Lacap to put his moonlight okay. in the evening. Because you cannot have clip on lights in a boat. No. Because mm -hmm. yung angulo nga mahirap. And then direct wanted pa ano, mm -hmm. a steady cam and all of that. So you can't have all of these um, stands uh, mm -hmm. in, in, in the boat. So it had to cl be clipped up. Uh, and then so for that reason, we bought... Um, Oh my God, I think it was, um, kung hindi ako nagkakamali, it was a 16-inch diameter uh, tube that went all the way up. <laughs> and then we had to attach it to the boat. We had to, uh, uh, we had to consult 
the engineers, one, the yeah, engineers yeah. if it would topple the boat, etc., oh. etc. So there was a lot of um, actually technical um, uh, work that went into it that, of course, the viewers will not see. Oh. Yan. Or the critics kayo, kayo will not see. Kayo, kayo <laughs> <lang> <laughs> oh, oh, no, but it's very technical work. Oh. In fact, John, dun ko talaga naramdaman how technical uh, it is. Uh, I had to read on the basics of yung parang boat design, etc. Kasi oh, I had to understand. Gusto puntahan, Leo, oh. you, know? you read about it, etc. Mm. What about your training? Were you trained? Uh, did you have some schooling for your production design? No. So, no, tell me about that. Oh, oh, kasi uh, fine no. arts ka, yes. Uh, uh, no, Ma'am, uh, actually, it's in the reverse. I uh, took formal training in fine arts. I was already designing. Oh. It's it's okay. the reverse. Um, so what reading. made you go into the designing? What was your background or training for you to get into designing when you haven't had your fine arts yet? I mean, ah, yan, where did you come the, from? That, that, ano, Saan ka, di ba, okay. ang ground? Oh. Uh, ano yun, ma'am? Eh, my, 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 my first foot in, in, <laughs> uh, in filmmaking was writing. Oh, yeah, writing. I, I really okay, like okay. to write. Um, even if I was taking a business course, I really like to write. And then um, there was this opportunity. I was um, very, very sad working in Meralco. <laughs> one day, um, I... Parang hindi ka bagay oh, doon. Oh, no? And then, because oh. I had to pay the, pay the bills. Of course. You know? And then course. Uh, I was very young then. And then there was this call. Ricky Lee uh, was supposed to hold this first... Workshop. Now it's already legend. Oh, workshop of course, the script writing yeah. workshop. Oh. I was very fortunate to have been accepted in ano, in in that workshop based on a short story I made. Oh. Yon. Anyway, and um, yun ang una kong foot in. Mm -hmm. uh, yon. And then at that time, unlike now, if you're an outsider, if you're not the anak, the kamag-anak, or you know, of someone who is in the movies, it will be very difficult for you to come in. Very difficult. And I could just imagine, even for women, na hindi, di ba? Oh. Na walang kakilala noon. No, Ang hirap-hirap. No. So, um, I was thinking I'd really like to go into film, and then maybe this is one way. But I, it, since it's writing, I, I liked it. And it, since it's tricky, Lee, Diba? Uh -huh. So, yun yung una. And then, then um, walang nangyari dun, ma'am, after the, ano, after the, the workshop, the, the workshop ma'am, kasi, anong nangyari dun, oh, um, after that? Yun na nga, ma'am, wala namang opportunities wala nang, masyado. Oh. Yun. But again, I had to pay the bills, I had to return to, <laughs> to work until, because of that workshop, because in the workshop was Bing Lau. Oh, si Jeffrey Bilang. Turian, oh, uh, Peping Año Nuevo, um, who else? Um, sino pa bang nandun? Ah, the late Vincent Kua, the oh. the ano the cartoonist mm -hmm. and uh, yeah the one who made uh, comics, mm -hmm. one of the very first LGBT uh, themed uh, series comics. Sino pa ba? So uh, this was an Boots opportunity oh, yun, to yun. connect, de ba? Oh, yun yun oh. dun kami nagkakilala. Oh, I'll pick that up and. Talk about your Cubrador. Uh -oh. Bing Lau was there. Jeffrey Oturian. Uh -oh. You became the production designer uh -oh. of Cubrador. Uh -oh. Tell us about that. Um, Pero nauna yan, di ba? So, nauna ito. Uh -oh. We didn't that know that we were going to after, work together. Uh -oh. no, no, no. Well, but, uh, nagkasama, yeah. nag, I think lang, nag, nag, ano lang, nag, nag gel lang together mm -hmm. yung, yung, yung Cubrador. Mm -hmm. um, si... Je, Actually, yung before that, Jeffrey made, before Cubrador, I think Jeffrey made Taco. No, Taco. No, 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 the no, other one. Uh, um, Tuhog. Tuhog. Uh, uh, the, uh, yon. Uh, and then, um, meron pang isa, Fela Pets of Water, yung... Um, Pila Balde. Pila Balde, mm, yon, mm. yon. Hindi ako nakasama nun si... Sa si, Pila Balde. Oh, si mm. Pila Balde because... I was doing Murami at the time. Ay, okay. So hindi ko na hindi ko na sama yun. And then I remember Manunuri. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. Made, <laughs> yun, made uh, uh, no win for that uh, season, right? Correct, remember. Correct. Anyway, uh, and then sabi ni Jeffrey sana magkasama tayo sa pelikula. And then this opportunity 
um, Cobrador came. And then I like the idea na parang, uh, you know, yung style Ayun, of film. Tuloy, and, oh, yeah, oh, diba? and then the, the subject matter was uh, parang unexplored before. So, mm-hmm. and then the, 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 just the, you know, of working with uh, Bing Lau, with uh, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Turian, with Ralston Hover. Uh, and with Boy okay. Iniges. Oh, Boy Iniges. Yeah. And then Joji there so, was there pa as uh, producer. Was very supportive. Kayo. So, parang why not? <laughs> <laughs> diba? I mean, parang so, nukuloko ako kung hindi ko kukunin yung... So, ano. tingnan mo yung scale na yan. Diba? Magkaiba. Oh, man. Magkaiba. So, ba, pag sinabi mong production design for a cuprador, mm-hmm. diba? May shift yan eh. Oh, ma'am. Yes, You ma'am. have such a... Big, oh. uh, scale, oh. ano, sa Rizal, oh. et cetera, moro mm, mm. So, ano nga adjustment this, this, dyan? The, ano, the challenge with Cubrador is not so much the scale, but um, yung choices. Mm, ng um, lugar, diba? Ng lugar. Like, parang, yung the, 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 the squatter area where, where the fi- of the film, mm-hmm. no? Mm-hmm. Is actually four places. Okay. Uh, because, four places? Yeah, yeah, because I was Pero very... Parang, uh, we, uh, diba, it was because I was very parang, particular. Uh, oh, uh, sinabi ko, Jeff, dapat, sinabi ko, Jeff, parang the idea talaga here is, this is hell, and uh, it's a maze. Parang ulit, ulit. Yeah, it's a maze, uh, uh, and then it's dark, and then when you get out of it, maliwanag, yeah. maluwag, and then masikip, maluwag, masikip. So, and then, um, because of the shooting style, which means that, the Boy, cinematographer uh, will have to use wide lenses. The, 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 the tendency of wide lenses is to make small spaces look wide. Which means eh, our, pero gusto mo medyo, our, our locations have hmm. to be very, very, very narrow alleys. So we had to look for uh, certain uh, places for that. There are many, many uh, squatter areas here na actually, ang, ang luwag ng alleys nila. So we have to look for those na talagang Makitid, na parang oh. it's just one meter wide mm-hmm. for us to be able to have that that kind of um, effect. Mm-hmm. Yon. And then mm-hmm. uh, we had to choose interior locations that were big enough, but kami na ang nagpaliit oh. through design, through planning. So, ganun, planning. Ganun. so it was not like as is where it is that we went to these locations in, in, in the squatter areas and then shot. No, there was a lot. There was a lot of work done. We also had to uh, rig uh, rain mm. na ang haba-haba. It, it, it was complicated. Oh, ito yung uh, ano, you have to work well uh-oh. with your director of photography. Yes, of course. Diba? Production mm. design, uh-oh. anong kukunan niya, etc. and so on. Uh-oh. Tell us about that. Okay, I was swerte yeah, ako. Uh-oh. Swerte ako sa uh, mga cinematographers ko. Uh, uh, the late Charlie Peralta, uh, to, uh, Pereira, June Pereira. Um, I was able to work with Toto Natividad. Oh. I was able to work with, of course, Rodi Lacap and Boy Niguez and um, uh, yung the favorite of Celso Adsi. Um, pinarangalan niyo yun eh. Si uh, Vitug. Vitug and Romy Vitug. Yeah. So Rome, those were the... Yeah. There were the cinematographers the people, yeah. in Boy Inigas. There were the cinematographers mm-hmm. that I've worked with. And um, yeah, I worked very closely with them. And I'm giving them, oh, what's the palette? What's yeah, the right. idea? Mm-hmm. Ganon. Uh, meetings. And then um, they made very uh, good suggestions also that actually helped me in, in, in my work. So um, I, I really work closely with them. Sometimes to the point na medyo may tension. But I think that's part of creative work. Of course. Yon. Yeah. Oh, yung Pero, mag- maganda yung sinasabi mo. Kasi yung work, di ba, matagal ka rin eh. Oh. So, is there a maturity in production design sa ating uh, Philippine setting, sa cinema natin? Or wh- what is it? Do you know? Binibigyan ba ng importansya? Ano ba ang ano? Um, still, ngayon, uh, m- maybe not the filmmak- oh. maybe not the filmmakers themselves, but the general public and those who are not really involved. I will always remember, even no, even in ano, even abroad, they oh. would always praise. It's always like this. Okay, blah 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 blah. The films are ganyan, the visuals are ganon, the cinematography. They always forget the production designer. But 
you have to remember, yeah. if there's no production design, there's, there's nothing, nothing to like. Correct. <laughs> diba? That's true. Yeah. So, is it still ko, in that point? Uh, mukhang um, hindi, hindi pa rin nila masyadong hindi, naintindihan um, ang um, role? Ng, maybe it's unfair to say na, oh, you have to recognize. Kasi it's recognized naman. Mm -hmm. um, but I think we always, maybe it's part of the medium, we're always sidestepped uh, by, um, by the cinematography because you have to remember the beginnings of production design is theater. Okay. And in in film, but no, in no, film, no, cinematography belongs to film. Mm -hmm. Editing belongs to film. Right? Editing. So it is, it, is a, it is a discipline that is intrinsic to the medium. Ang design kasi, kasama yon. But it is also, it has an older history in theater. So I guess, inisip ko na lang, ah, anyway, ano naman kayo sa theater, mas luba naman kayo. And then this is intrinsically film. So I guess, uh, the nature of the medium uh, would actually be the reason why a focus is really given to that in terms of evaluation, mm -hmm. uh, in terms of uh, critical um, evaluation of film in itself. So it's partly because the medium, because of the medium, not because mm -hmm. production design is unimportant. We know that a lot of filmmakers would always be very, very dependent and particular to production design. And these are very good filmmakers. Um, Kubrick, um, di ba? Yeah, uh, sila yun, sila, uh, Bergman, uh, Truffaut, all of these great, great, uh, even in, uh, our, our uh, younger, um, what do you call this? Our younger uh, filmmakers, uh, yung Korean filmmaker for um, Parasite. Yeah. I mean, but that's well, a production let me, design let me film. Just, uh, oh. So, I get it that from what you're saying, what is important is also to be working with the director mm. who gives importance to oh, the production yes. oh, design. Or oh. else... Yeah, ma'am. Uh -oh. uh -oh. Kaya sabi mo nga, pinipili mo nga yung mga oh, tinatanggap mo eh. Although minsan, minsan, oh. be, minsan din naman, parang, ha, sana, sana pabayaan na lang ako. <laughs> no, but ma'am, that, yeah, that's... Yeah, uh, <laughs> no, pero ma'am, there is always value um, na nandun ang director because after all, hindi naman production designer nang uupo sa editing. I mean, the film... Diba? The film mm -hmm. is really a director's medium. Sige. I mean, let's accept it. Let me, let me mm -hmm. ask you, anong mm -hmm. philosophy mo behind production design? What, uh, <sighs> the general philosophy? Parang, oh, mm -hmm. pinaka... Siguro, ma'am, I, I don't know if I can call it a philosophy. Okay. Ang sa akin lang, ang paniniwala ko, uh, of course, this is relative to the material. Mm -hmm. no? But generally... Design should be like, it should support the story. If it does not support the story, and um, parang design should not be just decoration. It actually should push the story. It should illuminate character. That's the, the, the for me, the most important uh, function of design. It's not to make pretty pictures. No. When the pictures become too pretty, I always am very suspicious. <laughs> so I, when, in, in my work, um, I take out more than the things that I actually put. If it doesn't help the story, I remove it. Yes. Yon. Okay. Good. Uh -huh. Great. Uh -huh. So, ano, gusto ko lang ma malaman talaga yung... Uh -huh. What's, what's driving your oh, design, no? Oh, oh. And uh, as an artist, ba? Mm. What, what would you stand for? Because beyond your going to film and mm. doing production design, mm. doon sa art mo? What I've learned, well, my first, I mean, of, I tried to write. Well, I think I, write, I can write, but I, I first wrote and then I did production design because that was the only um, opening mm. in terms of coming into the industry. Okay. Yon. And then um, m my experience, my practice in um, design, um, siguro, if, if anything, it helped me become very, 
how they say, very sensitive. I think mm -hmm. yung, yung sense of space ko okay. is, um, has been sharpened doing production design. Mm -hmm. um, uh, especially Siguro, yung space, uh, looking at it from the perspective of actual space. Mm -hmm. and uh, the space on the two-dimension. Because film is two-dimensional. Yes, yes, yes. But the source of film is three-dimension, right? Mm -hmm. And then it becomes two-dimensional. So therefore, uh, you see now it in a... You yeah. know, either you want to make it deep, or oh, you, know, yeah, you know, yung cutting your space, oh, etc. Oh, oh, diba? oh, oh, mas conscious ka. Ma mas siguro, mas sensitive ako sa ganon. Mm -hmm. And then mas yung this mo. kind of sensitivity... I try to I try very, my very best to uh, to use in my paintings as well as my installations. Ah, oh, uh, yun ano sila sabi ko. Yeah, uh, and uh, then I heard well I read somewhere na ang mga sino solution mo na ngayon na would be your you body and then yes, uh, yeah. oh, ma'am. What else space history and remembering. History and uh, remembering. Yes, oh. Uh, Can you Tell us something about that before I go to your film that you directed. Ah, so, okay. Me, ano. Um, yung, um, after also how many years uh, doing um, what they call this, uh, being into the visual arts, mm -mm. Um, napansin ko na the, the recurring themes that mm -mm. I, uh, sa aking mga trabaho, because I'm not, uh, number one, I'm not an artist with a particular style. Uh, no, I don't have one style because mm -hmm. I I'm multimedia, mm -hmm. and uh, unlike other artists, but I'm not saying that's bad. But other artists who paint only in a certain way. Um, my relationship with my practice is what uh, a scholar would say. Um, I'm not a monogamist. I'm a polygamist. <laughs> I love That's many right. styles. Maganda yun. <laughs> Kailangan yun. lang i-explain mo na gusto yun. Oo, <laughs> uh, yun, yun. Yun mang ano ba, hindi uh -oh. ba, I'm not, I'm not stuck with one, one, one way of painting or mm -hmm. one style. One way of, of saying of, it. Oh, oh, yun, yun, yun. Um, I, all, I, I adjust it to the theme that I am um, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, uh, tackling, mm -hmm. no? or the topic mm -hmm. that I'm tackling. Now, um, yung, inano ko ma'am, yung, yung, what they call this, yung practice ko uh, revolve, uh, that where I make artworks that revolve around these themes, um, they occur again and again, yung about the body, I've mm -hmm. always uh, believed yung embodiment. Um, yung our, our consciousness are not separate from our bodies. We take our consciousness with us. Right. Um, so, ibig sabihin, if the body is the vessel for our consciousness, then the body should be very important. Mm -hmm. um, it is not just uh, a medium a vessel, but the body itself um, actually informs how we perceive things, how we um, we how we are affected right. by things, even the way we're sitting down. Mm -hmm. actually affects the kind of, I think, the manner, the, the, the conduct, yeah, the the conduct, conduct of, of our conversation. conversation. Mm -hmm. If it's like this, if it mm -hmm. were a table, it would be very different, ma'am. Uh, 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 so, uh, how, how we deploy our bodies um, is actually very important. So, how does that connect now to history and remembering? Well, apart you, from the fact, with yeah. consciousness, when oh, we're doing about correct. consciousness, oh. everything we do, our, our bodies operate on memory. No, that's why we are able to climb upstairs. That's Kaya why we are sabi. able to, to, uh, to do many things. And um, yung, it's all tied together. Yung, yung, yeah. yung, um, yung the centrality of the body and saka yung consciousness natin in having the power to remember things, to tell okay. stories, all of that, nakakabit lahat yan sa katawan natin. And then sometimes, um, even the sensual um, aspect of our body is uh, sometimes often taken for granted. Um, 
um, we do remember through our bodies, through our senses and our sensuality, mm -hmm. except that it's suppressed by our Catholic background. <laughs> but we're not as in touch with our bodies as other cultures, for example. You, wow. you know that? Oh, yung oh. Ganon. And then... Um, so yun ma, magkakarog tong para sa akin lahat oh, yun. Oo, pero ano, sabi nga na, you're only as good as your memory as well. Yeah, um, oh, How do you, um, ba, pag wala ka na na-remember, wala ka na remember. But if you've done important but, things, you have history with you. Even if you like lose, that point. even I if like you lose point. your memory, um, what you have done mm -hmm. before, that is now part of history becomes the memory of okay. a community. All right. So that's that's the shift of positioning, right? Oh, ma'am. From oh. from self oh. to, to outside. Yes, to the, how they ma see you too. Yes, also. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Wonderful, I think. Mm -mm. That's a uh, you know important. Oh, ano yung ginagawa mo and you have this at the back of your head mm -mm. when you do your work. Mm -mm. Eto na yung mm -mm. Sinulat mo, dinirect mo, mm. instant mommy. This was in uh, <laughs> mm. 2030. It was, mm. uh, I thought it was quite an exciting film. Mm -hmm. And tell us about that film. Um, ano yun eh? um, it, it Actually, um, it, I went into it half serious. Um, it came to a point that, you know, I, know, I should start. I should write something that I'm able to finish. And then the story is not even mine. Mm -hmm. um, it was a story that was junked before because of this, because of that many reasons. In fact, that the, f that the reason that it was junked, I became more interested. I like things that are discarded <laughs> for, for one reason or another. Um, I'd like to siguro know why it was discarded to begin with. So I got this story about this Chapayuki. I mean, not... That, that's the original story, no? Mm -hmm. um, and I said, how do I transform this uh, to, to make a character more empowered rather right. than being a victim? Right. So right. I just wrote that. And then when it came to a point, mm, I think I have a script. Why don't I include this in Cinemalaya? Cinemalaya, so, right. So sinama ko siya. Oh, no? in ko, inayos ko. And then actually it did not get it was not part of the first 10 that was chosen. Mm -hmm. and I, I was told I was part of the 15, the top 15 that was chosen. And then I think several people were chosen in the first, I know, backed out. So that's the reason I came in. Mm -hmm. now, Which is good. At uh, least you know, mo yung pelikula. But the problem is, mm -hmm. I was not really, I don't think I was psyched up enough to make that film. To make that film because the the ano was too soon. I received Mabilis. a call from from Mel Chonglo. Um saying na no you're already part of it because nag back out si ganito, nag back out si ganon. So we're including it in the 10 Cinemalaya finalist. Mm -hmm. So parang that took me aback so sino mag ikaw magdi-direct kasi alam ko na meron ka namang ganun ganun oh, oh, oh. so mm, so yun yun so <laughs> ga ganun fast yun forward, uh, fast, fast forward fast ah, forward ano yun ganun nangyari oh. so yung ganun know, looking for producers but was it a good experience for you or yeah, ano it, was, it, it was a oh. learning experience for me oh. um um one of the lessons there is um Dapat mas matigas ang ulo ko. You were too nice. Yes. <laughs> yon. Uh, 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 maraming ano so, yon. iba yung shift from yes. production design uh, to a writer, director. Oh, uh, yon, yon. Ibang, ibang kailangan. Yon. Anong metal ang kailangan mo doon? Yon. And then, um, um, I think it all boils down to that. Dapat naging mas mas ano ko mas again uh, how do you say it belligerent mas maging mas, uh, mas maging adamant ako dun sa sa mga gusto mong gawin mga gusto kong gawin insist um, on it yeah ah uh, there, there was and never make a film uh, with very little time for shooting 
Because mm -hmm. basically, as a person, as even as a creative individual, uh -oh. Uh -oh. medyo mabagal ako okay. magtrabaho, mabagal ako mag-process. So, you... mm -hmm. Some people are amazed at them kasi ang bilis-bilis nila. But mm -hmm. ako, mabagal ako, mabagal ako mag -ano. And then, once you're pressured to do so many things, um, I f there are things that you forget, or um, you could have done, done it this way, but, you know, so, mm, may mga ganong, mm. may mga ganong... But it was relatively a uh, well-received film. I think it's mixed. Yeah, it's a... Mixed siya. Mixed uh, ang mixed, reviews pero, niya. You know, Yo, uh, mixed ang reviews niya. Um, ako, sanayin naman ako sa review. And then, I'm, I'm, I mean, somebody's positive opinion, yes, thank you. Somebody makes uh, an opinion that's not positive, well, that's your opinion. Uh, this is life. Uh, I mean, I think I'm old enough to 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 see it that way what is interesting was uh, for me was um, the reception most especially when it was uh, screened outside because the film did get <clears throat> did get to be screened in um, in Dubai International Film Festival mm. it was screened in uh, the Golden Horse mm. in Taipei in Hawaii I was not able to go to Hawaii and then uh, it screened in Osaka mm. I ano yon um, um, that I really va um, treasure yung the feedback of um, yung the foreign audience mm. and then you you would um, parang be surprised that there are certain things that the takeaways in the film is very different from the takeaways sa the local. local scene. So yeah. <laughs> you'd see uh, the difference, difference, and then um, yung yung feedback dito. Um, I I think the Filipino audience is may sophistication siya. Hindi ko hindi natin masasabi na yung medyo ano sila yung backward or whatever mm. no i think the filipino audience at least yeah, oh. in independent cinema oh. may sophistication Film literacy na sila is oh there, yeah riba? Oh, oh. Lakas, ah, a lot oh. Oh, yun. so mm. so okay lang i just wish that um, when i did instant mommy yung the allusions the the metaphors you know that i tried to put in sana nakuha yon Naku but may nakuha naman yung, Mer yung iba pero na man oh, <laughs> nakuha naman nakuha naman yung iba but oh. Um, you know, ang, ang ano ko is, I'm I'm not a fast worker. I I'm a bit slow in you know thinking over things. So I'm not very sure if the the 15 day is shoot enough paradigm Correct. and the uh, 40 day preparation is good. Or sometimes I'm also thinking that mm, what I try, what if I try making a film. Written by someone else. That's that, another that myself, idea, oh, yeah, right? no. So, so, yun. so uh, this would be my. Uh, well, I'll give you the space to say, or to give suggestions, or even insights, etc., and recommendations, advice to mm. our filmmakers, young filmmakers and those who want to go to production design. So, pwede bang, ano, bigyan mo ng payo? Mm. <laughs> Am I that old? <laughs> <laughs> but you've, you've done so much already. Uh, 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 paano ba? Um, I think either way, whether you go into design or in, any, in anything that you want to embark on, I think you 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 have to love what you're doing mm. because the um, exam in design or even production or even filmmaking it's hard enough to 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 make one diba? uh, the fact that um, the protocols are only limited to technicals the creativity there's so much room for exploration you can never uh, bank on uh, or be comfortable with formula. It's a creative work, right? Mm -hmm. So which means, given that, you really have to, to love doing it. Mm -hmm. If you want to 
use, for example, um, uh, like some filmmaking or production design because I mean it's part of the entertainment business whether we like it or not, mm. di ba? Yon. And you just want to be popular. Baka gusto mo mag Instagram ka na lang, <laughs> di ba? Because it's not. It's it's the wrong. Um, if you, if you want to be famous for doing a film, but maybe it's, that's the wrong premise. You just want to tell stories. I mean, really, I mean, you know, tell stories in uh, in a particular way. Because uh, even design is an art generally, diba? It's, it's really it a way of oh, telling stories. Of so, so yon. So if if you want to go into this discipline. You cannot just be a decorator, or you cannot just be a stylist, or you cannot just be a like uh, a painter, if you like. You, you you have you have to be to train yourself. You have to inform yourself about telling stories, about narrative art, both in a practical sense and even in a theoretical or philosophical sense. You know what storytelling is about mm -hmm. uh, it, it, all the other things you learn about design about the formal aspects and everything um, nandyan yan eh, but I think it's more central na how does this tell a story I think uh, whether the story is uh, a story in a literal literary sense or story in terms of creating moving images because you don't have to have literary structure to be able to create uh, visual stories. Alam mm natin -hmm. in even in theory. Diba? So, yun, it's a way of putting things together uh, to create, um, to create, I think, um, either a feeling, an emotion, a, a moment, or even... Um, a thought, if you like. Yun. Great. Mm. Thank you very much for that, Leo. Mm. Ito naman parang ano to. Mm. Questions, mabilis ang answer, ha? Ah, parang, uh, oh. Para, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we just show this na okay, okay. tayo dito oh, sa part oh. na ito. Okay, mm -hmm. let's start this. What's your favorite local movie? Late, of late? The latest? Oh, whatever. Only one. Oh, tagal naman. Ano ba yan? Ne, isa fast. lang, ma'am. Isa lang, ma'am. Oh, isa lang, anak. Okay, again, again. Oh, sige. I'll say it again. Para ito, mabilis. Ah, ah. Favorite oh, local movie? Badil. Foreign movie? Ah, uh, ah, uh, Parasite. <laughs> oh, wait. Parasite or, ano, ah, uh, shop, lift. Yung shop, shop, shop lifters, the Japanese film? Lift. Shoplift. Shoplift, shop okay. Uh, toss between the two. Oh, okay. Oh, yan, okay. Favorite local actor? Actress? Jacqueline Jose. Oh, okay. Favorite production designer? Ken Adam. Uh, favorite director? Kubrick. Cinematographer? Local, foreign. Local? Ah, yung favorite director sa... Local. Sige, yung favorite director. Sa local ko. I always look forward to his films. Chito. Chito ron. Uh, yes, oh. May ibang pace natin. Oh. <laughs> Ikaw <laughs> Pero talaga leo, ha? Sa anin, Hindi so, ikot mo ako dito, ha? Uh, <laughs> kasi gusto ko sabihin Jeffrey. Kaya kaibigan ko si Jeffrey, eh, so it oh, won't so, mean anything. Yeah. Oh, yan. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. okay. Sige, Chito ron yun. Oh. And sa, sort of Jeffrey, oh, alright? Yeah. Oh. So... Cinematographer. Cinematographer. Uh, uh, si Neil Daza. Oh, Neil Daza. Okay. Uh, uh. Favorite food? Carlos. <laughs> Favorite restaurant? Dami Mami. Oh, yeah. Oh. Get away location. Ah, this little cove in which I'm not going to tell. Uh, this little cove in Panglao Island, in Bohol. Mm. Pet, cat or dog? Dog. Oh, okay. Any hobby? Ah, meron ba ako? Wala na akong time for hobbies, ma'am. <laughs> Too busy. 
Maraming salamat, okay, Leo. Okay. Thank you, ha? Right, Maraming ma'am. salamat talaga. Right. Okay, sige. <laughs> Mga kaibigan sa sining, isang oras na naman na usapang pelikula ang nagdaan. Gusto nating pasalamatan ng ating bisita ngayong araw, si Professor Leo Abaya, sa pagpapaunlak niya na makahuntahan namin dito sa TVUP sa Sine Pinoy. At salamat sa ating mga manonood sa patuloy na pagtangkilik sa ating programa. Sana'y nakapagdagdag kami ng kaalaman at nakapagbigay ng inspirasyon sa inyo. Samahan niyo kaming muli sa susunod na paghahatid namin ng mga personalidad mula sa larangan ng pelikula dito sa tvup.ph. Ako si Dr. Grace Xavier Afonso. Hanggang sa muli, ito ang Sine Pinoy. <music>